Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is going to be a combo Halloween haul. The reason it's a combo is because honestly, I was not expecting to do this. <laughs> so uh, my ex came over for his visit with the kiddos and I saw my opportunity to get out of the house for once <laughs> um, and not, you know, have the kids in tow. Uh, I love shopping with my kids, but during current times, I kind of don't like them being around a bunch of potential uh, COVID cases. And I know I can keep myself at a distance and sanitize and stuff, but sometimes it's a little difficult to manage when you have three people instead of one. And although I do it successfully, it's still a lot of anxiety. So I took this opportunity to blast some metal in my car, which I haven't been able to do in months. Uh, and go shopping. <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree and I was like, you yeah, know, why not? Let's just see what all the, the Walgreens has. And uh, Walgreens didn't have much, but they had some stuff. So we're gonna go through it. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can be part of the Spooky family. Uh, and let's get started. have this lovely set of purple roses. I have no clue what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I just think they're beautiful and so I got one of each. Uh, I got a couple of them. Uh, again, not sure what I'm going to do with them but I just like the way they looked so here they are. Then I got this lovely thing. It's uh, just a doormat. It's a very, very cheap, very flimsy, thin doormat but um, it's cute and I figured this could be a good one for uh, either the moon room or maybe like entry to the garage, you know, something that's not gonna be out into the elements, you know, like because it's so flimsy, I don't think it's a good idea to, to put it like in the rain and stuff, you know. Then I got these adorable gravestones. I don't know, they're just cute. And I like glitter, I like the color scheme. So went with those. Then I got this little like, just one of those like drawstring like bags. You can use it for shopping kind of like you can wear it on your back. Um, I just like the sugar skulls on it and uh, I can always use more bags, you know? And then I got this adorable ghost. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang this up somewhere in my home. Um, again, love the glitter. And you know, honestly, just look at that face. Look at the face, so cute. Okay, then I got some ghosty pals. Where's my other ghosty pal? Okay, here we go. So I got two ghosty friends. I got my signature colors, but in ghost form. Ooh, they've got stripy little socks. So cute. Also, I got myself some happy little ghost socks. Look at those happy guys. Look at those little, they're kind of fluffy too. They're a little raised. Um, they just look super comfortable and I love the color scheme once again. <laughs> okay, speaking of Day of the Dead, how cool is that? So uh, I didn't get to show this in the video because I was kind of rushing to get to the checkout and you know, chaos ensued, uh, but they had a whole Day of the Dead end cap um, and this was on it along with that bag and um, the uh, there's something else in here that I got from that end cap. <laughs> But again, uh, love Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. One of my cats is trying to climb the wall. Uh, it's 
not working for her. Anyway, uh, but yeah, just a little cardboard thing. Um, super psyched about this one. Then I found this headband. And it reminded me of uh, Morrigan from um, Darkstalkers. <laughs> and I was like, well, I kind of need that. So. I also got this amazing mask. Just thought it was very pretty. Um, just like it. Uh, I don't even know if I would wear it necessarily, but I definitely want to hang it up somewhere. Um, just very, very pretty. I also, see, funny thing, this was not in the Halloween section. This was actually in the candle section. Um, and I was like, oh, as a witch, I, I can never have too many candle holders, you know? Um, so I got this. And I probably should say that this was all from the Dollar Tree. All the stuff that I'm showing you right now is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you the Walgreens stuff after this and I will let you know. <laughs> Sorry I didn't specify, but yeah, so, so far everything I've shown you was one dollar. Then I just got this adorable glass jack lantern. Um, probably could put a tea light in here or a candle or, um, you know, like one of those little LED things, maybe even like a little flashy light, anything I want, you know? Maybe I could put some like glitter in here. Um, some of those little like glass beads maybe. I also got this really cool semi oil slick skull uh, it is glass um but i just thought he'd be a nice addition to the rest of the skulls that i have in this house <laughs> i like this headband next i got this glass uh it is a glass um and it just got a sugar skull on it so amazing and next i got this adorable little coffin treat box uh, I can never have too many boxes. I have so many little things uh, that a box is so, so useful for me. What? Look what's inside! <laughs> He's sleeping! Oh, that's adorable. You guys, do you notice? Do you notice on his, his little blanket? It's different blood types. Oh my God. That is precious. That is absolutely precious. I might even just like stand it up like this. Um, Cause that's so cute. Oh my God. Again, I had no intended purpose for this. I just really wanted a box uh, and coffins are great. So, okay. So the rest of the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree was not Halloween. Um, but it was kind of more witchy stuff and crafty stuff witchy and crafty. Um, so I got this little crafting box. Um, this I'm actually going to use to put my daughter's perler beads in. I don't know if you're familiar with perler beads, but they're really, really tiny. And right now they're just in a bucket. And so like finding the right color is so hard. So I got them this so that they can separate the colors. And then I got two of these little like small-ish jars. As a witch, I can never have too many of these. Um, this is, you know, put little herbs and spices and different things of that nature. Um, you know, different kinds of water, like moon water or sun water or anything like that. So I got two of those. I got, I'm not gonna show you all four of them because they're exactly the same, but I got four of these little shallow boxes. They're wood. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I saw this on TikTok. Um, somebody had actually glued these together and then they painted them and then they hung it on the wall so that you can like store like little things like oils or gemstones or like little knickknacks and things like that. Um, and I was like, that is such a cute idea. Like how many times have I like, oh God, I need another shelf, but they're so expensive. So these were like a dollar a piece. I'm just gonna stick some wood glue between them, um, let it dry, spray paint it black. Um, and then hoist it onto the wall. And I've got a little shelf to put on my knickknacks and I have a lot of knickknacks, so yeah. So I'm excited. And of course, while I was there, I had to get the wood glue uh, cause I don't have any. <laughs> um, and then I got this uh, crafty, crafty glitter cause I can never have too much glitter. <laughs> okay, next 
I went to Walgreens. Uh, somebody had sent me a picture of um, a couple of things they saw at Walgreens, so I raced on over and I was like, you know, I might find nothing. After the haul that I got at Dollar Tree, I really didn't necessarily need to find anything. But I thought, you know, I have the time, the opportunity, let me go check it out. Um, so that's what I did. Okay. Now you may see in this video um, that I, you know, kind of pan around the shelves. Um, unfortunately, nothing had prices. Some of, okay, a couple things had prices, just like one or two things, but most things did not have a price at all. So I couldn't really show you a whole lot and kind of let you know like what to expect as far as pay, paying that price or whatever. Um, but what I did find was super cool. So um, let's look into that. First, um, I got this potion bottle. Um, I just thought it looked super cool. I like the frosted glass with like kind of like the marbleization on it. I loved the little bat on the stopper. And you know me, I'm a huge fan of green. So um, yeah, I was a big, big fan of this. That potion bottle was on sale for $4.99. So even better. Maybe I read the sign wrong. Maybe I was looking at something else that was $7.99 and I thought it was the potion. Anyway, it was $4.99. <laughs> anyway, this, this is the, uh, so I only got a couple of things that were like decor related. Um, I did get a bunch of stuff for my kids, but all that stuff they've already like ripped into and started playing with. So I, I didn't want to necessarily feature that in here because trying to get that from them would just be torture. So let's not do that. Um, but yeah, I got them a bunch of stuff, but uh, at Walgreens, I only got a couple of big things, and then I got one little snack, little snack. Um, but I had to have this. Huh. Holy crap. Um, I love Oogie Boogie. Uh, out of all the characters in Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie Boogie is my favorite. And I love everything about him. I love how devious he is. I love I love his song, like the song for introducing him as a character. Um, I love the whole aesthetic of his like lair. I love the whole glow in the dark scene. Everything about Oogie Boogie, I love. So when I saw this and it looked like the roulette wheel, and I was like, oh, it's technically a candy dish, but I think what I'm actually going to do with this is I'm going to use it for jewelry because I have a ton of bracelets and chokers and all kinds of stuff. So I could totally use this for some of my more commonly worn jewelry. And that's what I'm gonna do. But this was $16.99. It is ceramic. Um, I think honestly, like the detail they put into it, it was definitely worth it. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pricier item, but in this case, I definitely feel that it was warranted. So um, yeah real excited about this one. The only other thing I got there. <gasps> More Halloween Oreos. Halloween Oreos don't taste any different than regular Oreos or Christmas Oreos, but they do in my mind. Mmm. Mmm. So good. hope you enjoyed this fun little haul um this duo haul and thank you guys so much for being part of the spooky family i really appreciate you guys being here i'm so happy that our little spooky family is growing um i've been doing this channel for like six plus years now <laughs> it's a long time um and i honestly 
so many of you have been my subscribers since day one and I cannot thank you enough for the support you've been giving me like I, there are so many of you that like have been here like since day one and I know I already said that sorry I ramble um but what I'm saying is I really really appreciate you guys and I know that you know you don't have to be here and so it's just the fact that you're here watching my videos and subscribing reaching out to me on my other social media emailing me uh, those that I have not replied to your emails I did receive them I just have not had a chance to sit down and read them I'm so so sorry <laughs> we're going through like school registration virtual academy stuff and it's been a lot um, but I promise you I will read through your stuff um, but yes thank you so much you guys are incredible y'all are real MVPs I mean honestly uh, <laughs> so anyway rant over <laughs> you guys are amazing. You are gorgeous. And if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it.